TL Let's Play Episode 1, Take 2. Marker. Hello, this is Lizard. Hello, viewers. This is Lizard Boy, back into his Minecraft. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. This is a game called FTL, which means faster than light. And if you're wondering why it's windowed, it's because my screen capture software refuses to take full screen capturing of games, so I have to have it windowed, which is why you can see the borders on the Minecraft. This one does not get any bigger. So that's annoying, and I started with take two because I recorded an entire 25 minute episode before I remembered as I was, you know, looking at the recording and it was just showing the background nice and frozen like, so that was, it was great because I thought that episode went really well. So, <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd start a different game because I'm out of redstone ideas, so I'm going to start this game. Still, I enjoy sci-fi games, so... I have played this a few times, actually several times, I just haven't, I recently started playing again and haven't bothered recording it, till thought, hey, you know what, might as well, got, got nothing better to do, and so I'm going to, you know, to start this episode, probably, this one probably a little longer than the others, I'm going to try to keep them, try to be no more than 20 minutes, but, you know, <laughs> the way I am, I easily go over time, so that's going to be annoying, I'm going to be running off the border a lot, okay, I'm going to set it to easy, because I am a pansy, and it is really hard. It's this game is quite difficult, and it's randomly generated every time. And I can't. Oops. T -t -t -p -t -t -p -t -p I am unable to beat the boss. Haven't beat it yet. Mostly because I've only gotten there a couple times. I'll run out of fuel or get obliterated by some mini boss type thing. So pick gets you three random humans. The same guns, the same ship. There are others. I have unlocked this one. But I don't like it because it uses a different kind of weaponry system that is reliant on an ammunition. I don't like being reliant on ammunition. The name, called the Triton, is from a s series of books. Yeah, this would be the other one here. It uses drones more. It's like drones and an ion cannon. They're alien race called the NG. They're robot-like. They're tourists. Anywho. And, um... It's a great book series called Spinward Fringe. If you haven't read them, I recommend you do. And I'm going to try out my awesomely epic voice. <coughs> the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Rebel fleet. The Rebel fleet, represented by the Reds... Yeah, okay, I'll explain that later. Now, I have noticed that I'm not hearing anything. Is... Is this being muted? Mm. Hello? I have to keep it quiet or else you know. Oh, there's music. Sorry if I just blew out your eardrums. There. Okay. So I'm going to stick this. Wow, I do not like it being windowed. Stick this person in the weapons and this person in the shields and leave them there. So what happens is, here's the. Oh man, I have to explain all this again. I'm sorry. This is like, ugh. It's so aggravating when you record for half an hour and then you go back and it's none of it's useful. Okay, this is the power capacity of the various systems on your ship. This is weapon systems. I can send power to this missile launcher. See, it pops out. And this laser blaster doohickey. And they'll charge it up. And if I have someone manning the station, it'll charge up quicker. They do have levels. Like, he'll slowly gain experience. And when he... He has two tiered ones where he gets a green star next to where he turns yellow and has a yellow star, like this little thing. And when weapons, it'll trim down the reloading time by a second or something like that. Here are the shields. Every two bars of energy equals another tier of shielding, which will block one laser type hit, although missiles punch right through, which will have to have a limited ammunition. And scrap is a currency. Use it to upgrade your ship here. Add power, because you have to upgrade the capacity and then the power to actually put it, I'm going to take one power from my med bay here, like so, now no one will heal, and put it to my engine so I can dodge by another 5%, which is displayed this way, you can open your doors, you can vent all the air out of your ship if you want, I typically don't, um, I like to not die in 3 seconds, and yeah, with the shields, when they get hit, they take a few seconds to come back up, yeah, I got sidetracked easily, I'm sorry, but when you have someone manning them, they take a little bit less time. If you have somewhere at the helm, you can actually jump out using the FTL system, which takes one fuel per jump. And if you leave at all, unless you upgrade it so there's autopilot, your evade plummets. You get none. You're gonna get hit by everything, basically. 
this engine's powered off and now they're back on. And here's the sector map. There's a distress beacon there. Wow, there's a distress beacon on the first one last time. Let me detect the pattern. Yeah, randomly genera generated every time. Like, on the last one, I was up in here, and there's a distress beacon, like, up this way or something weird. Well, not weird, per se. And, um, each jump takes one fuel. Let's just label fuel. And I gotta go all the way to the exit to get to the next sector. There's eight sectors. Well, you go through eight sectors, but there's, like, I don't know, 25 or so total. But there's a certain path. I'll show you when we get there. I plan to try to get out of this sector by the end of this episode, which time is a certain time. And I try not to go over 20 minutes, so about that o'clock. Okay. Let's go to the distress beacon. Let's go help some people. Wow, that is a lot slower when it's windowed. Wow. You arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Do you try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, or you destroy and loot the ship because they're just pirates? I'm going to go with destroy and loot the ship because they're just filthy stinking pirates. And... You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull. Before you can scrap the remains, another pirate ship flashes on your radar. Perhaps they saw your deed, or perhaps they want to claim the spoils for themselves. But for whatever reason, they're charging their weapons. You see here the purple, almost said blue, purple paint means they're pirates, and they've taken a rock scout ship. Rock being another type of alien species. Species. Four station command. Oh, you can pause real quick, you can target stuff. I've heard a target when they're powered up. Boop, 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 boop. You can pause at any given time, which is nice. And here's the slow moment where I try to fill the slowness with talking. Unsuccessfully, of course. Fire missile in their shields. Wow, that's. And quickly shoot them in their weapons to disable their weapons. There we go. Each shot takes out one bar of damage, at least for the laser. The missile takes out two. You see, it does two damage, takes out two points of their hull. Here's my hull. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Open fire. Ooh, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. Wow, there's a squid. Wow, that is slow. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I'm going to real quick. Oh no, my browser's closed. Never mind. Okay. And I got two fuel and two missiles and 19 scrap, which is the currency slash uh, stuff you used to upgrade your ship with. First thing I like to do is get level two shields, which require two shield, two, um, I can't, okay, if you look at the right, two bars, so it'll take 50 scrap, and then another 40 scrap to actually be able to power it, so it'll take a little bit to get there. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one, because if it takes a shot, it'll take out that empty bar before it actually takes out my shields, because it requires both bars for it to actually power the shields. So I'm going to jump to, um, this way, because that one was dead end. Scanners are <coughs> scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Do you investigate or do you ignore it? I'm going to investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? You try to communicate peacefully. You try to communicate in every possible way, but they can just... You can, but they just stand there, silently judging you with the large, expressionless eyes. You prepare to leave. And the reason I do that is because the rest of the time when I try to bring them aboard or something, it ends poorly. Like, someone dies, or my ship takes damage, or something weird happens. So I, I'm like, nah, let's not do that, please. Wow, I did not think I'd be able to jump all that way. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, my epic voice, as I call it, is not difficult or anything. It's just... Um, what's the word? Fun? I guess? I don't know. <sighs> Some water. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. 
Do I accept their bribe? Few of three drone parts, one scrap 13, or try to be a hero and attack the pirate? It's be a great game for live streaming because then I could ask you and then stop, wait, read what you're saying. Oh, okay, attack him, or no, be a jerk and split the bounty. I'm going to be violent this go around. I shall attack him. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. Probably because I'm hoping I'll get more money out of this guy. Because I want scrap. I don't want drone parts. I don't plan on using it, which is why I don't like the other ship because I don't like using drones. Because then your ammunition depends on it. And we wait for things to happen. Because it's taking longer than it should. Because, like I said, for whatever reason, it's recording slow and windowed. Oh, I missed. Oh, poop. No, oh, beam weapon on the shields. Oh, no. Oh, really? That's okay. Just miss with everything. Goodness. Unfortunately, I see that took that extra bar. It didn't actually take out my shields. Oh, oh, hold on. Mouse caught the my mouse pad. The missiles, yeah, penetrate the shields. Which is why they have that limited ammunition. Yes. Look at it. Oh, there's the... I was going to say, where's the shield generating room? Oh, no. They're charging up their end. <clears throat> You've proved a sufficient match for the pirates. They are powering up their FTL and trying to get away. Oh. Delay? Oh, because the pilot left and was going to repair the shields. Time to make this kill face to face. By taking out their cockpit, or their helm, whatever you want to call it. They're not getting away unless all three lasers miss. I will be greatly disappointed. Mm, come on! Get yes! Yes! Yeah, this should be going at least like 50% faster, but really? 10 scrap? Really? The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You go to examine the ship you just saved. <coughs> Thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Oh, it's a, it's a store. Interesting. See, there's a store I can buy fuel, buy missiles, buy drone parts, repair my hull, buy extra systems, or sometimes augmentations, weapons, or crew. Uh, I don't really want either of these, nor can I afford this one or any of these. Cloaking's great, but it's incredibly expensive. <gasps> mm -hmm. Good, so, great. Just 10 scrap. Nothing else useful. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. <clears throat> Let's go. Uh, I need more clothes right now. I'm gonna take a little swig of water. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Let's see. <clears throat> Upon arriving at this beacon, you detect a distress call. Local scans reveal that Federation transport is under attack from a rebel scout. You can aid the Federation ship or use this chance to escape. I'm going to aid them because this should be easy. You power up your weapons and engage the rebel ship. Oh no, he's got a drone. Nah, poop. Wow. I cannot believe how slow that is because I was just playing for quite a while full screen. So this is like painful. Frame rate low. I'll take out the drone system first. That beam weapon can't penetrate my shields. That's very nature. Come on, come on. No, yes, no. Gotcha. Oh. Disabled him right before he could take my shields out so the beam weapon could actually do damage. That would have been not so good. I'm trying not to use my missile systems because you see I only got six. And it's really bad when you run out. It's like, no. Let's take out the. Um, did that move? Okay, good. I don't want them being able to get away using those FTL systems. This music is great. I gotta buy the soundtrack one of these days. Maybe someday when I'm YouTube famous and I've monetized my videos and I'm getting money in the mail from my illustrious YouTube career. Yeah. 
or someday when I find a magical unicorn pony and decide to sell him for thirty million dollars. That's probably more likely to happen. Anyway, with the ship destroyed, you quickly <coughs> you quickly collect useful resources and coolness. Contact the Federation ship. Their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction, and life signs are fading quickly. Quickly try to rescue the crew. Despite your efforts, the majority do not survive. The sole survivor offered to join your crew and help you strip the now derelict ship of useful components, and I got even more loot from it. Best bit is I got another crew member. You can now man the engineering station. Which will ump, ump, ump it up? <laughs> bump up my evade by another percentage, and it'll bump up as he levels up too. Watch it go 15% all the way down up to 20. Woohoo! That means I have a 1 in 5 chance of mm, dodging the bullet, or the bullet missing, or however you want to say that. Perfect. Watch my shield. Boop! Ah, oh, wow, it took forever. See, they're all brighter and kind of hexagonally. Hexagonally. I don't know. It's, I like to make up words. It's fun. Alright. Um, store now. I've uh, got nothing to. I got one scrap. I don't think they're selling anything for one scrap. <laughs> that would be great though. We'll probably buy it. Uh, ah, excuse me. Alright, I think that's the 15 minute marker ish. Alright. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials. Materi. <laughs> <laughs> May discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the asteroid field. Oh, asteroid field. A pirate ship hiding behind one of the larger asteroids attacks you. Uh, glad I got tier 2 shields, because asteroids hit it and deplete your shields. I am happy they do not. So if I can take out the shields, I can just sit back and watch the asteroids take, uh, rip them apart. Wow, I can't get over how much slower this is because it's windowed. I would think it would actually be faster because better resolution type stuff. I don't know. Wow. Incredible. So taking out their shields and their weapons. Aww. Yes, I will take it because of the bunch of missiles. Aww. This doesn't instant charge because I'm sitting in an asteroid field, so it's going to slowly charge. And it's going to take forever, and it <laughs> it's going even slower because of the stuff. Oh, he's hurt because his uh, system was hit while he was in the room. So I'm going to plop him in the mid bay. There's no power. I'm going to take power from the engines. Drop in the mid bay. Dun 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 That's great. I like this song. Gotta get me this song. Dun 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 Now I can take power back from the mid bay, put it back in the engines, and get out of here. Get out of dodge. Dun 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 Good grief, how many stores can there possibly be? In one stinking sector. Ow! Ah! Oh. I don't know if you heard that, but I just kind of twisted my foot, just you know, moved it, and my ankle just popped. Ah, oh, that hurt. <coughs> You've arrived at the <coughs> long-range beacon. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There is a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are. <coughs> These are dark times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we will gl gladly pay you for them. Um, I'm gonna say no because I like my missiles. That would be what's his face, Mr. Tentacly from Harry Potter. Oh, he's actually Tentacly from Pirates. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just not bothering to correct myself. To the next sector. Oh yeah, this is the rebel. Um. Yeah, the Rebels are the bad guys, not the good guys. That's a new one. Star Wars, it's, this is off to the Star Wars. Anyway, this, if I'm back here, it's, it's no-no sauce. Um, I'll automatically get attacked by Rebel, and I'll still see a bunch of orange Rebel ships all around. 
and when I destroy him, I'll just get like one fuel just so I can get out. And what this means here is that the next jump I make, that's where this line will be, and that's those sectors will be taken over, etc., etc. To the next sector. This here is a sector map. Yeah, see, this is different than the time before my original attempt at doing the thing. Um, wow, lots of hostile, lots of nebula. Um, okay, so we have here, if we go this path, you'll see I can't go there because of the crisscrossy lines. And... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, I might just want to go to the Mantis just for the fun of it. Wow, man, if I go up and then up again, I'm going to be hostile all the way. If I go to Uncharted Nebula, the Rebel Advance will be slower, but the Nebula blocks your sensors, so I can't see my in my own rooms unless someone's in there, which is, I don't like, I don't like it. And sometimes there's a plasma storm, which, like, cuts your power generation in half. Which is really annoying, because then you gotta try to balance your weapons with your shields with your oxygen systems. Oh, yeah, these are subsystems down here. Hold on, hold on. Down here, don't actually take up any power, which is nice, because it's, you know, you really hope that the piloting system doesn't take power, or your doors. But you can open and close manually, it's great. Okay, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Jump! To the next sector. I'm gonna go to the Mantis just because that's more interesting. And we'll do a jump or two in here and then we'll call it an episode. And slow this. <clears throat> You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Cool. Um. I'll slow this way. Take the long way. I've got, I've got a large amount of fuel, and I'll probably refill as I blow up people. Ooh, it's a blue planet. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroy a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. <coughs> a young man is in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship or agree to offer up the Mantis in exchange for bounty. Mantis are great because they move faster and they're better at attacking, they do more damage, they're bug aliens if you can tell from Mantis, like you know, praying Mantis, but they don't repair as fast and that's pretty much the only downside, they repair half as fast or half as or twice as slowly, or a quarter as half as fast, boom, or, no, that's the wrong way, a quarter of half as, no, whatever, <laughs> no, a quarter of twice as fast, there you go, that's how you do it, okay, or four times half as slow, or, sure, um, okay, um, I'm gonna keep him, because, People like to, a lot, at least the last couple times, a lot of people like to teleport over. So it's nice to have at least one man just to help defend your systems. Because two or three humans on one human, and you can't really take your other guys off your other systems to help defend him. So I think he's more important, and I'm going to end up fighting him. Oh, dang. Yeah. It's a trap! <laughs> it's not a trap! Why does everyone always think it's a trap? Not a trap, except it was! The Mantis sabotages your ship before teleporting away. We're sitting ducks. Uh, and I took whole damage. That's great. See? I think the last time I decided to keep him, he actually stayed and helped, and I fought these guys. <sighs> Cotton picking. See, it's different every time. Every time. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. Dang. Oh, he's got a defense drone, which means he'll blow up my missiles. Oh, mercy. Is it gonna hurt? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Let's do lasers on their sh shields. So my next hit will go through nicely. Unfortunately, they're fast repair people. So, by the time I'm old... Oh dear. Please miss, please miss! No! No, they didn't! My shield's down! Oh good, it's not recharged yet. Yeah, whew. Whew. Shields up! Let's take out their weapon system. I'm not worried by that at all, as much as I'm worried about those. What? Oh, for... I just shot their door system. Their weapon system, which looks a lot like it turned sideways, is over on this side of the ship. <sighs> I wonder why their doors changed colors and they kept firing. I was like, what? 
whatever. Die, die, die. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useless scrap material. Oh yeah, I've read that a few times, and I will continue to read that several times if I keep reading. Oh, I have a lot. Let's. Oh, that's why I, did, that's why I didn't use any, because the uh, drone would blow them up before they got there, which is quite annoying. It's almost there. Alright, let's do another couple jumps. This game's addicting. It's really hard to stop. <laughs> that's how you know it's a good game when you don't want to quit. A nearby Mantis mining operation is clearly using heavy NG slave labor. You briefly consider the possibility of emancipating the slaves, but the Mantis presence is too formidable. You decide to stay low, to lay low. This is a situation where if you have a certain crew member type, you get some blue text, or you have a certain system, and that's like always a good decision, and you could do something like one was, there's a planet that has some kind of plague, and you know, you can try to send some crew down to calm them, just leave them, and if some uh, half time if you send people down to calm them, typically you lose a crew member because he gets infected, so you send him in the quarantine. But the NG, who are kind of semi-robotic, apparently can't get infected, so you send him down, they calm everybody, and they give you a reward for calmly setting up a quarantine. So this was a pointless jump because I didn't need, I didn't have a Mantis or NG crew member or something, or something else that would have popped up blue text like I wish I would have. Because I would not mind an NG dude; he's good for repairs. <coughs> <coughs> you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you or your ship. I can demand the surrender of their goods or avoid the ship. I'm going to go with demand the surrender of their goods, obviously. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. And there's my ankle popping again, but this time, not as painfully, fortunately. So here, to stop them from just getting away, I can shoot their pilot, helm area, or their engines. I'm gonna go with engine. So we shoot a missile there, and then laser in the weapon systems because they have a missile launcher. Actually, I'm gonna wait on the lasers, just in case the missile misses. Just missile misses. Say that five times fast. Missile misses, missile misses, missile misses, missile 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 Ow! Don't shoot me in the airlock. Jerks. Hold it, 75%. Yes, I got it. Just because I have plenty of missiles, I'm going to shoot them with the missile and try to ignore the quiet, silent times. Take out the weapon systems completely. Oh, one point of damage. Of course. I mean, why on earth not? Every time. All right, let's mm, shoot the empty room. No, let's make this kill face to face. Bam, bam, bam. <coughs> Explosions. <coughs> you detect faint life signatures from an intact piece of the hull. They were transporting prisoners, and the sole survivor offers to join your crew as a first step on his path to get revenge. Yeah, I got some loot and an NG. Oh, awesome. Yes. I don't get it. I'm in the Mantis system, but there's lots of NG here. That's whatever. Anyway, he's good because I'm not going to task him to anything. He'll just be my repair dude. So he'll be good for that. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade something. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Do you want to make a power? Why do you want to pick the engines and the power to power it? Which will bump up my dodge chance by another 5%, give me a quarter. That's one in four instead of one in five, which is nice. Alright, uh, let's go to the distress beacon because I no longer have any scrap with which if to buy anything if I wanted to buy anything at the store. Distress beacon is the of the trap. You, <coughs> you find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. Now here is where if I had a rock crew member who is immune to fire, that would be blue text, I would send him in. I remember because I've done this a few times. I can send your crew in a shuttle to help put out the fire, dock, and try to rescue him. I'm try to dock and rescue because I don't want to rescue my crew. Oh, God. I just took a bunch of whole damage. You locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. 
Before you can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away and some debris pierces your hull. You watch helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. Ironically, I gamed 18 scrap. Well, that's depressing. Let's end on a depressing note as I show you the store. Cuz... I'm, I'm gonna try not to have, you know, hour-long episodes. A struggling mantis cargo ship headed for the node raises what's left of, of, of shields. Of its shield, this should be in there. As you jump in, you power up your weapons as a show of force, and they reluctantly agree to offload some of their cargo to you at a, for a price. Which doesn't make sense because I'm already about to see. I need that guy back there. Oh, come on. <sighs> face desk. Instead of face palm. Okay, I'm going to. They're charging. One point of hull fixing is two scrap. I have 17 out of the normal 30. I'm going to go ahead and repair all. Spend the last of my scrap doing so and i will call that a day a night um yeah it's night i'm gonna call that an episode um leave a like and a comment of course if you enjoyed this video even if you didn't go ahead and at least leave a like <laughs> and a subscribe you know those and that and just leave me some feedback about whether you'd like me to continue this series um uh you know if you like ftl if you like this game it's only uh, i want to say it's 10 i want to think it's 10 bucks to buy off steam as you can see i'm using steam do not laugh at my small library. I am both poor and uh, I've not been on Steam too long. Only like a year or maybe two. I think just one year, like last summer. So, yeah, so I mean, I've only bought a couple games. Then a one or two was given to me by a friend, and yeah, so I haven't got around to doing that. So, like I said, you know, when I get rich from YouTube, I can start buying games left and right because you people are looking at advertisements and paying me 30 cents every time that would be great but until then anyway like i said like comment subscribe etc etc hope you enjoyed this video my name is lizard boy this is not minecraft so be greatly shocked and i will see you guys next time